Hey, you doing YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with new brewery time in the form of Yapas Artisanal Cerveceria. This is their Matsurika. Yeah, this is a Pilsner with Jasmine Flowers. Sounds pretty, doesn't it? 5% um, alcohol by volume. On a side here, it actually reads, it says, one of the highlights of Japanese cuisine is the tea. And one of the most delicate and flavorful teas is made using jasmine petals, called Matsurika in Japan. We added these petals to the recipe of a Pilsen, a soft and delicate beer, bringing jasmine notes to the aroma and palate. Um, full disclosure, never heard of these guys before, or gals, or anything in between. Um... This is a Exclusive Agent Beer International, LLC. Bohemian Style Pilsner with Jasmine Flowers. The label. <laughs> it's honestly like the label that caught my eye. Um, I found this in a uh, semi-local sneaky little bottle shop in Stroudsburg. It looks like um, August 31st, I think, maybe, as far as date goes. And uh, the, the label is just so pretty. And you know, a Pilsner with Jasmine. Kind of up this guy's alley, so... Let's see how the sucker rolls. You know, I almost assume this to be like a rice lager or something like that because, you know, Jasmine and all the Japanese themes, how pretty the label. It just looks like it's a base kind of, um, you know, base Pilsner lager uh, with some Jasmine floating around in it. Probably a little bit darker than what I thought it would come out as, to be perfectly honest with you. Like I said, label-wise, it's absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the prettier labels I've seen as of late. As far as that beer goes, I mean, it looks the part of a lager. just ekes a little bit more towards Vienna than anything else, rather than straight up just a, a light, crushable kind of pilsner. Really soapy head on the sucker. Like, really soapy, neurotic bubble, soft carbonated, straw yellow kind of pilsner. It's a good nose. I mean, it comes off as a super crisp, clean kind of lager on the nose. I'm not going to sit here and say getting jasmine in, a, in, in any aromatic. I know what jasmine smells like. I know what jasmine tastes like. Not really getting that here. I'm getting a soft Pilsner malt. A little crackery notes in there. Nothing as far as bittering goes. Kind of just done and done. So, yeah. Going to give it a whirl. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, okay. It's a, quite a bit bigger of a beer than I thought it was going to be based off of those sweet. Almost like, um, I think this might be the Jasmine at play here. There's this like floral honey characteristic. It almost comes off as like a honey beer. I think this combination of that nice kind of sweet, slightly crackery kind of Pilsner malt in combination with that Jasmine is bringing this like pseudo honey thing to the table. Definitely comes off more as like a bohemian style, like lager as opposed to a super crispy boy and, and that's just me assuming you know thinking about you know these you know jasmine and light and crisp kind of pilsner malt kind of lager definitely comes off more bohemian style lager than anything else but it's that jasmine that really kind of takes it to the next level non-existent on the nose really not there aromatically whatsoever and it, it while there is a big floral characteristic and a taste that really comes off as like a honey suckly kind of vibe to it which makes this beer more like a honey beer for me just the way i'm perceiving it it's coming off that way in a very nice and drinkable way i mean this is super tasty stuff i got a four pack of this i think i paid 14 15 bucks for it but um mm, quite a surprise how vibrant is it in the taste in a very very nice way like I said, you're not dealing with like super light, ultra light, crispy boy level stuff here. Something a little bit denser, something a little bit bigger. But for its style, it's definitely still a chugger. Definitely still a summery beer, even though we're kind of creeping, um, kind of elbow deep into uh, fall right now. It's nice and cr crispy. Talking about crispy, it's like a, probably in the mid 50s right now. Being 8 o'clock at night on a nice Thursday. And uh, it's hitting a spot. I mean, pretty beer. Uh, both visually and uh, aromatically, it's nice. I wouldn't say pretty, but that taste is quite pretty. And that jasmine comes through in a meaningful way that kind of makes me think more honeysuckle than anything else. But hey, works for me. I like this. I think it's fun. Let's talk about it. It's one of the better pilsners I've had. Is like, yes. Is it Mount Rushmore status? No. Um, but I would never turn one of these away. I mean, this is nice. This is actually a nice kind of, if I'm going to put like a super niche kind of market on it. 
it's kind of like the best kind of sidecar beer for like a, a, a big share because I think it holds up enough to something to all the other beers you drink to where it brings you some kind of joy. <laughs> it radiates joy. Um, some kind of flavor during during something like that, but it, it won't get lost in any other beer. That's where it kind of pulls off that cool trick of being big enough but also drinkable enough. Um, value availability, like I said, it pulled, pulled this off a shelf for like 14 bucks. Yeah, that's kind of where lager goes nowadays. Especially something like this. I mean, it says it was canned, what was it, Chicago? Yeah, Yappas out of Chicago. So it's not like an international beer, but international ingredients. So take that for what it's worth and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like um, like uh, Vietnam lager, Bohemian lager, and you like a little bit of honey vibes, floral honey vibes in your beer, this is going to be top-notch stuff, and you will love it. There you go. Reviewing the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. Podcasts and stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of a pretty beer right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.